Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to be making an easy retro style apron. But before we get started, do not forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's get started. I got this fabric from Hobby Lobby and I've done two layers for the bottom section. There is about a four inch difference in the layers. For this part, I cut two pieces. The first one is 45 inches by 16 inches and the second piece is 45 inches by 20 inches. I wanted to show you the fabric real quick. Um, it's a cute kitchen style print and the bottom has a newspaper print that is geared towards spring. So I thought this would be good for a springtime apron. All right. Okay. So after I cut the two pieces, you will finish off the sides and hem, simply folding the edges and top stitching over. At this point, you're only going to do the two sides and the hem. While I have a second, I wanted to mention these projects that I put up are good for like gifts. They're good for if you're looking for something to sell online, like on your Etsy shop or something, or it's just cute things to make for yourself, like around the house and different things, but all right. Okay, so now that that is done, and I wanted to know, I did surge over my edges, but you don't have to do it. If you don't have a serger, you can just fold the hem over twice. Oh, and another thing, just to mention, this is a great project um, because you don't need a pattern. And because of that, you can adjust it for smaller sizes and larger sizes. So now that you're done with doing all the hems in the side, you can go across to the top piece. And so what you're going to do is just sew straight across to attach the two pieces together. You're just going to go from one end straight to the other end, and that will attach the two pieces. Once you're done with that, now you can go on to the next step, which will be pleating. So you can also do gathering of the fabric at this point. You can do it with a gathering foot or you can do it with the loose thread and pulling it. But I prefer the pleating because I like the way that it looks. I want the fabric to be about 16 inches when I'm done. And you can see that now it's over twice that. So what I'm going to do is find the middle and begin small pleats from there. I'm gonna be placing my pleats about a finger length apart with my pleats going in two different directions because I like the way that it looks, but you can go in one direction if you do prefer. And you can see once I'm done, it's about 16 inches. And then I'm going to move on to the next step, which is going to be the straps. All right, so for my straps, I did 75 inches by four inches. The fabric wasn't long enough, so I had to attach two pieces. You will just attach the two pieces together to make one long strap. Um, at the end of it, I ended up cutting four pieces in total so that the waistband would have a clean look. Um, in the end of the project. So once you have the waistband done, you're gonna get the bottom piece and then you're gonna to begin to attach those pieces together. So what I did was I got the bottom piece, I found the middle, which was easy because it already had the seam in the middle from attaching the two pieces together. And then I just matched that up with the middle of the skirt piece. And then I pinned those together to begin piecing together then I went and got the bottom piece which is going to be the back piece of the waistband and I put that on there too so with the second layer of the waistband you're going to want to place it differently than I did you'll be able to see that I made a mistake in the way that I placed it the way that it should go is the seam 
that you can see facing up should be facing down. So one seam should be facing up, one seam should be facing down so that it's kind of, if that piece wasn't in the middle, it would be right sides to right side so that when you're done and you flip it over, it would, they would both be on the right side at the end. I did end up leaving it like that because it was going to be in the back, so it really didn't matter that much. But if you were going to be selling these or giving these away, you know, you would do it the correct way. And then I just sewed straight along the seam from one end to the other end so that that whole kind of bottom piece there was done and finished on the waistband and both pieces were attached to the skirt now if you wanted to finish here and just make a half apron you would just finish off the top piece so you would fold in the pieces right there inside both edges and top stitch across and then you would be done and you would have a half apron but i'm going to go further so i'm going to go on to the next step okay so now for the top piece i cut mine 10 and a half inches by 16 inches so this piece is 10 and a half inches the short way and across the width it is 16 inches all right so i folded it over in half and then i'm just going to freestyle a heart style shape i measured up about five and a half inches and then i just cut a curve and you can see how it ended up there now when you unfold it, it should look like this. And then what you'll have to do is sew along the top part and the sides. If you wanted to get an extra clean look right now, what you would do is cut a second piece the same and then put them right sides to right sides, sew along the sides and the top part, and then you would have one clean piece there once you turned it the right way out and your bottoms would still be open and then you will go into the next step you can see here where I did the curve I cut little snips so that when I did fold it over it was a smoother piece okay so now you will attach the two parts together I took the top part and lined it up to match the bottom part and then sewed it to the top layer only of the waistband facing right side to right side I lined it up and then I sewed it along that piece right there just that section and then once you fold it back over it should look like this now that you've done that you can move over to sewing the ends of the waistband so you're going to sew down the ends of the waistband which would be right side to right side and once you're done with it you should be able to fold it out the right way and then you should have a clean finish this seems like a lot of steps, but once you get into it, it goes real quick and it goes real easy. All right, so you can see that once you're done, you have the nice clean finish there, and then you'll go on to the rest of the waistband. So for this point, you're gonna put it back right side to right side, and you're gonna sew across from where the apron kind of ends all the way to the end of the waistband on each side, and then you're going to turn it the right way out. Um, if you have any questions about that, you can just ask me below, because I didn't really get a good shot of that portion of it but you can see it here it's still inside out and then i'm just going to take my turner and like kind of grab the fabric in a section and pull it out the right way once you have it out the right way then you'll kind of be able to see it better what i'm talking about So I have it the right way there and I'm just gonna push out the corners and iron it flat at that point. All right, once you've done that, then you can move on to the back, which should be open because you didn't sew that part when you were sewing the waistbands. And you can see that part is still open there because that's where you begin sewing. And I'm just gonna fold over that edge and then pin it, trying to pin it. Make sure you line it up so that it is matching up with the front so that you don't have a bunch of little wonky stitches there in the front. And then once you're done, it should look like that. Okay, for this part, I made two straps. You could make one strap and just kind of put it over your head, but I made two straps so I can tie it in the back and adjust it as I want it. For each strap, I cut the straps 22 inches by four inches and then i folded them over the long way and i'm going to stitch along the long way and across just one side not both sides just one side so that now that i'm done i can turn them 
the right way out. And then once I turn it the right way out, then I will finish off the open edge that is there. Okay, I started out and I was gonna place the two straps in the middle, but because I didn't like the way it laid, I lined them up where you can see it kind of dipped out on the side there. And then because of that, it wasn't laying smooth. So I gave them two little darts in the inside. You don't have to do this part. You can just put them in the middle like I originally did, but I thought it was cuter this way. So I put the two little darts and then I pinned it all across and then I'm just gonna top stitch where they are attached along the side and then that is it and you're done if you like this video please give it a big old thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye